Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Krisha? I find I find thanks and you. How I'm was your day? It was perfect. It, I had a good day. Thank you. Me too. Yeah. Good, good. Good evening, class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carmen. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. Ok, so, solo Carmen, Cris y Carlos me escuchan quizás. Glenda, Mauricio, ah. Rocío y Paola quizás no tienen. They have connection problems. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Glenda. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you, what about you? I'm doing ok, thank God. I had a nice Great. day. I had a nice day. Ok, so welcome back. What time is it? Uh, two minutes before eight. Exactly. Two minutes before eight o'clock. Exactly. What's today's date? Uh, today, when? No, no. Thursday. Thursday. Thursday or Tuesday? Tuesday. 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 Twenty. Okay. Twenty. <laughs> okay, let, let, let me put it in the chat. When you talk about dates, you can say July 20th, or if you prefer, you can say 20th of July. The two options are good. Yeah, July 20th is the American version. 20th of July is the British version. Got it? The two options are good. Twentieth. Twentieth, exactly. Twentieth. Okay. So we have. I said I have twenty dollars in my pocket. Twenty dollars, but today is not twenty. Today is twentieth. So, twenty. How many syllables do you hear? Twenty. Twenty. How many syllables? Two syllables. Two is correct. What if I say 20th? 20th. 20th. Three. 20th. Three 20th. is correct. Three is correct. Okay, good. All right. Um, how do you say pasado mañana in English? Um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. The day after tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Day after tomorrow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How do you say anteayer in English? The day before yesterday. <laughs> Excellent. The day before yesterday. Very good. All right. So let's begin. Uh, do you remember the topics that we covered yesterday? Used to. Used, used to. What is used the function? Okay. What's the function of used to? What? Subject? Okay, but what is the function? What's the function? Is to talk is to talk about activities that we used to do in past but uh, nowadays we 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 don't we, we don't excellent used to is to talk about activities that you did in the past but you don't do anymore or vice versa things that you didn't do in the past, but now you do, right? When I was a kid, I didn't used to know the value of money. When I was a kid, I didn't used to know the value of money. Now I do. You see? Now I do, yes. Okay, all right, so used to, makes connections um, with the simple past. Let me ask you something. Si usted viniera todos los días, how do you say that in English? If you... If you, if you would come. 
Ah, that is, si usted vendría. Uh -huh. You used to come? Uh -uh. I go every day to class. Ah, uh -uh. okay, is let, let you, me. If he, if you come, if you. <laughs> Not really. How do you say, <laughs> si yo fuera al gimnasio? If I go. Oh, si yo fuera al gimnasio. When I say, si yo fuera al gimnasio, do I go to the gym? No. No. So, no. si yo fuera. If, if I going. Uh-uh. No, if Anybody? I go. Uh-uh. Okay, um. let me explain. How many tenses do we have in English? Twelve. Twelve. Excellent. Every tense has a particular structure. Every tense has a particular function, right? Some tenses, they have an extra function, including the simple past. If I tell you, si yo ahorrara dinero, what is the message? ¿Ahorro yo dinero en este momento? No. no. Si yo ahorrara. So that is a hypothetical uh, situation. Si yo fuera al gimnasio, that is hypothetical. Si yo te dijera la verdad, that is hypothetical. What is the meaning of hypothetical? Posible, una posibilidad. Hypothetical. Altas posibilidades o altamente mm. posible. Hipotético. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What's the meaning of hypothetical? Ah. Yeah, hypothetical. Uh -huh. Somebody says something. Supuesto. Uh -huh. Some, someone else? Si yo fuera Guatemala, si yo fuera. Si yo fuera bueno, Guatemala. It's a possibility. Not a possibility. It's hypothetical. Es hipotético. Algo que no existe. Algo que anda en el aire. Es menos que una, es menos que una posibilidad. Eso es hipotético. Well, uh, if you... Uh -uh. Well, if you... Actually, uh, will the world. Okay, let me explain. Listen to this. All the topics that we cover... All the topics that we cover in this class, they are very useful for your lives. So, when I say, si yo ahorrara, si yo me cambiara de trabajo, si yo me mudara a otro vecindario, eh, si ella viniera, that is hypothetical. Quiere decir que no es real. It's not real. So, let me explain. Share screen. Okay, it's right here. Save. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. This is it. Okay, second conditional. Pay attention to the structure. And this is an extra function of the simple past tense. If plus the simple past or past simple, the two names are good, plus would plus base form. If I were you, I tell her. How do you say that sentence in Spanish? If I were you. Si fuera tú, se lo dijeras. Si yo fuera tú, se lo diría. Si, fuera si, yo tú, fuera, se lo diría. si yo fuera usted, si yo fuera vos, si yo fuera tú, yo se lo diría a ella. Uh -huh. But that is hypothetical. Eso es hipotético porque usted no es la otra persona. So, to express hypothetical situations, you must use the simple past tense. Y el resultado puede ser would o puede ser could. The two options. How do you say, si yo tuviera carro? If, if, I, I, if I would a car. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If I had a car. I had a car. Ahí está bien claro. If, 
ahí entra el pasado simple. If I had a car, te daría right. Mm -hmm. If, I, if, if I, I had a car, how I, I would take you a ride. I would take you. I would take you. I would give you a ride. I will offer you a ride. So, I will happy. I would, I would be, be happy. happy. Okay. I would be happy. Excellent. Excellent. So, how do you say si usted estuviese aquí? What is the past tense of are? If you were. Ah, if yes. you were if here. You were, if you were if here. If you were here. Todos if estarían you, contentos. How do you say that? If, if you they, were Okay. We, if, uh, if, you we, here, if you were here. All we will, we will have everybody. Will everybody, be happy. everybody will be happy. happy. Yes. Oh, yeah, we'll be happy. Um, can can um, change everybody or every round for we? Yeah. You can change it for we, they, he. So the subject can be anybody. Uh -huh. Okay, if, pay attention. Same meaning. Huh? If the same meaning. No, I mean, the message would be similar, but if you said it, if you were here, she would be happy. We would be happy. Uh, Carlos would be happy. So the message is the same, but with a different person. Okay, thanks. All right. Look at the first example. If I had the time, I would learn Italian. How do you say that one in Spanish? Si tuviera tiempo, estudiaría italiano. Aprendería italiano. What is the message? The person doesn't have time. Got it? Look at the other one. If I won the lottery, I would travel around the world. How do you say that one in Spanish? Si ganara la lotería, viajaría por todo el mundo. Si yo ganara la lotería, viajaría por todo el mundo. That is hypothetical. What are the possibilities of a person winning the lottery? Maybe one in a million. Maybe. So the, the possibilities of these two examples are very small. Are very small. Questions. So how do you say si tuviéramos una cultura diferente de manejar? Uh, teacher, a question. Uh, yes, sir. When, when I um, when I visit the the web, uh, yep. I don't was. Uh, 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 okay, no, no. no, this is separate. This is separate. And the reason, and the reason why I'm explaining this, because many times they explain to you, okay, simple past, uh, actions that happened in the past, and finish in the past. But they forget to tell us that the simple past has an extra function. What is the extra function? This right here. Okay. Yep. Questions. Okay. How do you say si yo leyera más? Reading. If I read more. Uh -uh. What is, read what is listen, listen carefully. What is the past tense of read? Red. 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 So how do you say si yo leyera más? If I read. If I read more. Or if I read more. Estaría más I informado. Will I will be more informed. How do you say si yo comiera vegetales? If, if, I, I, if, I, I, if, I, if I ate. If I ate. If I ate. Listen, listen, listen. Vegetable. Vegetable. Okay, listen to Vegetable. this. This structure is universal. It's standard. 
So para poner la if clause, the, the structure is always in past tense. How do you yes. say si yo me bañara dos veces? If, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I would. Took, if, if I, I took, 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 a shower. took a shower, took a shower, I would Why? feel fresh. Me sentiría fresco. How do you say si yo viviera cerca? If, if, I, I, live if I live near. If I lived, lived. If, if I, I lived near. Uh -huh. Okay. So listen to this. Pay attention. Whether the information is positive or negative, you always use the simple past. How do you say si yo no te conociera? That's a negative sentence. If I didn't know you. If I didn't know you. Excellent. If I didn't know you. What is the message? You know the person, right? What if I say, si yo no tuviera carro? If I didn't, if I didn't have, I didn't have, have, a, have car. a car. If I didn't have a car. What is the message? I, I have a car. Right? Okay, the question, the, yes. the, the conditional is if, because the verb is in past, uh, Yes, sir. No, if no, if no has if no sound equal, no meaning the same. Okay, so the if clause, the if clause is always in the simple past. Si yo hablara ruso, si yo fuera al gimnasio, si yo ahorrara dinero, todo eso es hipotético, it's not real. So, como it's not real, mm -hmm. el resultado es would. Porque would convierte al verbo en una, algo hipotético. ¿Got it? No, pero los ejemplos que usted acaba de decir eran de que <coughs> eh, usaba el if al inicio y el verbo en pasado. Ajá. Y sin usar el would. Ok. Por ejemplo, cuando dijo eso, si yo tú no tuviera carro o si, yo, ajá. Ajá, o si yo tuviera carro y entonces no usaba el wood y ah. solo usaba if ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Fíjese bien, digo, si yo no tuviera carro ocuparía transporte público so pay attention if I didn't have a car I would use public transportation so se mantiene la estructura en pasado simple pero en negativo y siempre se mantiene el wood Okay, I'm sorry. can you repeat the sentence, please? If I didn't have a car, si yo no tuviera yeah. carro, I would use public transportation. Okay, thank you. Okay, so what is the message? Do I have a car? Yes, I do. Yes, uh, who has a question? Teacher. Yes, sir. Sorry, teacher. Yes, Carlos. Um, using verb in past only. Mandatory. Oh, always, always, sorry. Always. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the verb is in past. Now remember, the information can be negative. Si yo no tuviera hijos. How do you say si yo no tuviera hijos? If I didn't, I didn't have a child. If I didn't have children. If I didn't have children. I will have money. Okay. Tendría dinero. Sí, okay. Pero cuando yo digo, si yo okay. no tuviera hijos, what's the message? I have children. No, you have no. Uh -huh. Got it? Yes. Yes. Okay. A question. I have a question, Mr. Yes, ask me, please. But uh, we, we can change the result answer and use instead will show to change for a okay. mandatory answer okay uh, that's a good question you can change would for could okay. you can change could for would yes y me voy a salir del tema unos 10 segundos recuerde que el, el model los modales le dan un 
un significado en, en específico al verbo. Iría, debería de ir, debe ir. So it depends. So you can change would for could only. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody you. else? Any other questions? Let me ask you, how would you change your life? Or how would you improve your, your English? ¿Cómo usted mejoraría su vocabulario en inglés? Using the second conditional. If I practice every single day. If I repeat it, repeat it has to be in the simple past. Uh, if I, re I read. If I read. I if, I, if, if I spoke. If I spoke more English. If I watched videos. If I practice. I don't know uh -huh. what is it. Yeah. How do you say si yo escribiera oraciones? I wrote. If I wrote. If I wrote. If I wrote. Excellent. If I wrote. Excellent. If I wrote uh, sentence. Sentences. Uh -huh. How do you say, si yo no tuviera cable televisión? If I have, I have. If I didn't. Listen, 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 listen. listen. When you use have. the second conditional, remember this. When we use the second conditional, it's mandatory that you use the simple past. Mm -hmm. So when the information is negative, you have to use didn't. Yeah, uh, if I didn't have. If I didn't have cable television. Uh -huh. If I didn't have okay. cable television. Okay. I will, I will have, <laughs> I will have Netflix. Okay, I would use internet maybe. Okay, questions. How do you say si el internet no existiera? If the internet didn't, if exist. The internet didn't exist. Excellent. If internet if didn't, didn't exist, didn't. Didn't communication exist. would be more difficult. Right? But what is the message? Thank God we have internet. Hey. Any questions or comments? Yeah. Uh, when I use wool or cool, uh -huh. the base form is in present. Yeah, or base form. Maybe past. Uh -uh. Uh, base form makes reference to the natural form of the verb. If I had time, si yo tuviera tiempo, I would visit my family. Visit is base form. If I had money, I would buy new shoes. Buy is the base form of the verb. Hmm. It's different to say in Spanish, hubiera. Exactly. No. Ese hubiera es el tercer condicional. Y ahorita estamos en el segundo. Y vamos a ver el tercero también. Ah, el segundo. ¿Y cuál es el primero? Oh. How do you say regar las plantas? Regar las plantas. Uh -huh. What am I drinking? Water. Water. Water significa agua y también significa regar. Ah, okay. So what do you do every day at six in the morning? Oh, I water the plants in my house. I water the plants in my house. Okay. So what is the zero conditional? Something that it's true. If you water the plants, they grow. If you water the plants, they turn green. It's always true. Got it? Yeah. Okay, so this is what we will do. You're gonna work in pairs and you will paraphrase what you understood. If, if, if you still have questions, if you still not, you're not sure about something, raise your hand. And I will visit your 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 classroom. You see it? Teacher, um, yes, sir. 
I I have been in in, a, in all the classes. Okay. Uh, I I don't remember what is the the first condition now. The example that I just gave you, something that is always true. Si usted riega las plantas, se ponen verdes. Si usted riega las plantas, crecen. It's always true. That is the zero conditional. Got it? No. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Uh, no, I don't say that. Continuamos. Continuamos. <laughs> okay. All right. So, pay attention. Fíjese bien. Hay gente que todavía, si digamos, a mí me ponen a trabajar con Jaime Benítez. Y ahí está Francisco Marroquín con Jaime Benítez. Jaime Benítez no habla, no aparece, y Francisco así se queda esperando que, ah, mejor, no tengo ganas de practicar. No es así. Francisco tiene que levantar la mano y pedirle al instructor que lo cambien a un salón donde va a poder practicar. ¿Gare? ¿Estamos bien? No, pero yo le preguntaba, de que decía que había estado en todas las clases, pero aquí en el cuadro de la pantalla dice la segunda condicional. Ya. Yeah. Y le preguntaba que cuál era la primera, y, o sea, porque aquí dice, claro, segunda condicional. Entonces, Correcto. usted me está hablando del ejemplo este de regar las plantas y esas cosas. Ajá. Y ahí es donde me pierdo yo, ¿verdad? Si he estado en todas las clases, okay. cuál era la primera. Ok. ¿Entiende el segundo condicional? El que estamos viendo es ahorita. If. Es if no, todos llevan if. Word. Todos llevan if. Todos los condicionales llevan if. El, mm -hmm. el cero, el uno, el dos y el tres. Son cuatro condicionales. But the second conditional is hypothetic. Exactly. It's hypothetical. Exactly. And the first conditional is real. Exactly. Exactly. Ah, And the, the zero yeah. conditional is real. This is not. Got it? Okay. Sí, ver, no, ahorita le vuelvo a repetir. Ah. Al que encuentre solito y no me ha dicho nada, mm. vamos a hablar las orejas. All right, let's go. Okay. Leonel, how are Bien, you? Alone. You're alone. Bien, alone. Okay. <laughs> Let me see it. Okay. This is. Let's see. What room is this? Okay, it's room nine. I will send you to room three. Okay.
maybe maybe it is um the if plus simple present and um, the set of conditional. <laughs> Me too. Hello, ladies. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hello. Fine. Uh -huh. Cecilia, Fine. Cecilia, you were alone, Cecilia. <laughs> yes, teacher. And why did you stay quiet? <laughs> um, Tenía que haber levantado la mano y say Francisco, I'm alone. Y lo hubiera puesto. Yes, teacher. Aquí donde dice reacción, puse, pero decía clap, decían las manitas. Oh, ok. No la vio yo, teacher, teacher. Ok, no, 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 no la vi. Ahí <laughs> ok, pero lo bueno es que ya está practicando. Very good. Yes. All right. Hey, whatever. People, people. Oh, hi, sir. Uh, How are I, you? I have an I have an ask um, um, question right yes, now. Sir. Yes, sir. Ask me. Um, for the answer, uh, hypothetical answer. Hypothetical. I, hypothetical answer. If I want to say about an action that I was doing right now. I use in the continuous form, the present, the, the present continuous tense, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. ah, For example, present. cooking. I'm cooking. Estoy cocinando, oh, right? Okay. Okay. If I if I did in an English class, I will uh, cooking. Okay. If I weren't, I like if I weren't in the English class, I okay. would be cooking. Estaría okay. cocinando. Okay. Yes, you can. Yep. All right. Okay. Let me visit okay. another room. Excuse Carmen me, Maria. Teacher. Yes, Carmen Maria. Uh, I will. Siempre va a ir acompañado de B. B uh, I will be make. Okay. Como decía Gustavo, si yo no estuviese en clase, if I weren't in class, Estaría cocinando. That is one possibility. I would be cooking. I would be sleeping. I would be watching TV. Watch TV. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Pero, según el cuadro que les expliqué, usted también se puede quedar con el would plus the base form of the verb. Would plus base okay. form. Yes. Thank you. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. If I, if, if I were rich, if I were rich, maybe I'm going to buy or to invest my money and to help other person to improve their life. Because well, if I get rich and with the money, I don't really know what to buy exactly because I... Hello, teacher. Hello, Francisco. How are you? Fine, you? I'm doing okay. How was your day? Feel me? How was your day? How was your day? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Did you work? Yes. Did, did you work? Okay, good. Mauricio and Francisco, do you have any questions about the second conditional? Well, this the maybe the the key or to learn this 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 structure uh -huh. is is try to remember the past of the of the verse of the exactly. different verse. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. That's the only difficult part from it. So if I took a shower, if I went to the gym, if I bought new shoes, if I told you the truth, yeah, I agree with you. Yes. Um, because the the second part of the sentence you is is more is more is easier there. yeah it's simple it's simple it's simple because you only have to say i would or 
I could. Exactly. Um, the compliment. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Very good. Nice. Yes. Um, with uh, Francisco, we was we we were practicing good. the structure of the good. sentence. Very and good. We 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 told to the other some examples. Some examples. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. That's the attitude. Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Let, let me visit another room. Well, see, but when, but when I want to speak, it's difficult, <laughs> you see. For me too, um, I understand English when I read, when I listen, but yes. I speak, it's more difficult. Uh, the use of the modal verbs, the times, and thinking about the words in my mind, it's, it, it's, it's the difficult. But you two are yeah. speak well. You two speak well. But it's that good true. that it's good that you identify. You said, okay, I my listening is good, but I have problems to speak. Other people are different. They say I speak well, but listening is difficult. So everybody's a different case. And writing mm. it's more difficult. <laughs> writing, right? I think writing is really easy. Really. Yeah, writing is really easy. The first thing, yeah. writing, you have time to think. If you make a mistake, you correct it. You know, yes. so it's it's easier. Yes, but the speak and, is... And the rule grammatic, it's, it's more on the Spanish or equal or more no. easy? The, the Spanish grammar is really, really difficult compared with English. Really, yes. really difficult. Yes. All those tenses like futuro plus quan perfecto and all those things, I don't understand anything. Yeah, it's, I it's like the difficult. grammatical in Spanish. Really? <laughs> really. Okay. Yeah, and I know people that they love English grammar too. Oh, I love grammar. I love the <laughs> grammarians. But, you know, when you speak the language, when you speak English, grammar is secondary. It's not a, a macro skill. It's something secondary. So, well, you guys are doing good. Thanks, thanks, teacher. Yes, let me visit another classroom. Let okay. me see. Now I go to room seven. Ladies, Hi, how are you? Hi, and you, teacher? I'm doing okay, thank you. How was your day? Fine. Good, good. Did you have a productive day? Yes, very yes. productive day. Good. What time do you finish work? At the 3.30 p.m. 3.30. You work for the government? Yes. I work in the Ministry of Finance. Oh, Finance. Our, uh, RMS. Uh, RNS? What is RNS? No, Ministry of Finance. Oh, Ministerio de Hacienda. Yes. IRS. Oh, IRS. IRS, <laughs> yes. Oh, IRS. Okay. But I know, I don't know what meaning IRS. Uh, internal Revenue Service. Uh, okay. Yeah. So when you're speaking with a gringo and you want to say, uh, where do you work, Rocio? You said, I work for IRS. They know that IRS is the equivalent to uh, Ministerio de Hacienda. Okay. Yeah. All right. Where do you work at it? Me too, teacher. Okay. Too. Are you in the same department? No. No? No. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you know no. each other in person? No. No? Oh, my God. No. <laughs> yeah, of course. In the Ministry of Finance. Uh, Finance. Are a lot, lot of people. A lot of workers, a lot and, of people. Yes. Right. 300. 3,000. 3,000. Imagine yes. 3,000. That's a lot of people. Yeah. That's a lot <laughs> of and, people. And 78 and office branches yes sucursales yes branches 
Direction. Yes. Son 12 direction. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah, it's a it's a big uh, it's a big institution. Yes. yes. Okay. Very big. All right. Let's go back to this main session. Okay. All right. Welcome back. Any questions about the second conditional? Uh, no, I, I understand yet. <laughs> okay. So no question, if, teacher. Okay. So imagine you go to the uh, El Salvador International Airport and you're speaking with people that are living in El Salvador. And then you ask them, what would you ask the government to stay? So people will say, if we had more job opportunities, if we didn't have much corruption, if we had clean air, so everything is second conditional, everything is hypothetical. Questions or comments? No? Let me give you a, a, some advice. Do you listen to music? Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's true. So yes. When, when you have the chance, go to YouTube and put second conditional with famous songs. You will be surprised uh, which popular songs use uh, second conditional. So, oh, it's true. That's what they said. <laughs> Yep. Okay. All right. So, what do you think about animals? What's your opinion about animals? Yeah. I love them. What is it? I love them. You love, love animals. Them. I love them. Okay. okay. Yeah. Good. Someone else? Other opinions about animals? Yeah. Animals like pets. Yeah. Or, or any animal in general, wild animals, domestic animals. Uh, I don't like. You don't but like I have a, No, but I have a dog, but he's here while okay. I want to. What breed? What breed is your dog? What? What, what breed? Breed? What is, what is the meaning breed? Uh, Breed, yeah, like Doberman, pit bulls. Ah, uh, la raza. Breed, yeah. For animals, you say breed. Uh, breed raza. For animals, you say breed. For people, you say race. So, what uh, race is Barack Obama? Oh, he's black. What race is uh, Biden? He's white. For animals, you say breed. Uh, is black? Race how do you how, how do you write? <laughs> it's in the chat. Breed. Carlos, right. teacher is black, no, not racist, racist? Race, no. race, okay. no. Race, no. race, no. No, oh, sorry. You race. can say uh, okay. uh, Barack Obama is you, black. You say it's black. Yeah, you can say he's black or you could also say African-American. Oh. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Any other opinions about animals? I love dog teacher. Yeah, I love dogs too. Uh, yeah, yes. But my house is uh, a little bit small. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what what kind of dog do you have, Carlos? Yes, I I, I dog um um breed is is breed um um sorry. Doberman, Ponsky. No, se me ha olvidado la raza. Labrador. Um, oh, border, border Collie. Border, border Collie. Border okay. Collie. Okay. Border Collie. Aguacatator. Huh? Aguacatator. 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 Okay. It's Border Collie, my dad. Aguacatero. Avocado. Yeah, avocado. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so this is the, what time is it? It's 8.44. We have 10 minutes 
I will show you some questions about animals. Answer those questions any way you can. This is your free practice to get more fluency. Here we go. Give me a second. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes, I see. Yes, teacher. Copy. Yes, teacher. Let me put it here. Oh, oh okay, what's up? Face. Okay, there you have the questions. Let me make the, the groups. Recreate. Recreate. And here we go. Answer the questions. Practice your fluency and your accuracy.
Okay. And you? Um, the same. Dogs and cats. Used to do. The monkey. Oh, the monkey. Yeah. Oh. Do you think animals were put on this planet? Mm. The other. The other Carlitos. Number five, are uh, there any dangerous animal in your country? Yes. No sé cómo responder eso. It's um, uh, and repeat more, more, more. Again, do you think? Do you think animals were put on this planet? So we could eat them. Que si yo pienso, digamos, acerca de los animales, algo así. Yes, but it's the, we could eat them. This is the focus on. I don't know. What do you think? What is the danger? I don't know. Uh -uh. Peligroso, ¿verdad? Ajá, peligroso. Snakes, mm. crocodiles. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cougars. Ajá, uh -huh. maybe in the river. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. The, uh, I don't know what more else. No, oh, yeah, no, no, not yet. Tell me the other sentence. Oh, okay. And number five. Yes. Yes. Are there any dangerous animal in your country? In your country. Um, but the animal is dangerous. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher? Can you uh, hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> what meaning the, the, the seven. seven the seven questions? Okay, let me check. Do you think animals were put on this planet so we could eat them? Uh-huh. So do you, okay, so do you think, how do you say justo? I don't know. Fair. Fair. Let, let, Fair. let me, let me, hold on. Okay, do you think animals were put on this planet so we could eat them? ¿Cree usted que los animales fueron puestos en este planeta para comerlos? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Some okay. animals. Yeah, some, some animals. animals, right. Some animals, exactly. I am not because I'm best not vegetarian. <laughs> what is yes, it? Not... You're vegetarian? I'm not vegetarian. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I, I love meat too. I okay. love meat. Yeah. All right. Let me visit another. But I don't believe in... Crueldad, ¿cómo se dice eso? Cruelty, cruelty. Cruelty. Uh -huh. okay. yes. Animal cruelty. Yeah, animal yes. cruelty, exactly. Animal cruelty. Okay. All right. Okay. And the... Uh... Okay. And the next question. Uh, Cecilia, uh, do you think animals were put on this planet? So, so we could eat them. I don't understand questions. The seven question. What is the question? The seven. Do you think animals yes. were put on the planet so we could eat them? Uh huh. I don't understand. 
So um, do you think it's okay to eat animals? That's the question. If you are vegan, vegan question, or how do you say vegan? <laughs> Summer? Summer. You say verano? No, vegan. No. Oh, vegan, vegan, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vegan. Vegan, uh-huh. In my case, I like, I like the meat. <laughs> I like to eat meat. Yeah, I love meat too, barbecues. <laughs> barbecues are some of my favorite. Uh, in my case, I had barbecue because it's very sweet, and so I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Okay, and what about you, Cecilia? Cecilia, Cecilia. Bye, Cuerny. Ya me perdí. All right, all right. People are still coming back. I don't know why they're taking long. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today? No? Can you hear me? No teacher. no teacher, no question. Okay, no teacher. No question. so remember, uh, we are practicing English from 8 to 9 p.m. It's only one hour, so make your agenda and make the space to be present in class um, four times a week. Questions or comments before you're dismissed? No questions. No? No questions, teacher. All right. No so question, we continue teacher. tomorrow. Same place, same time. Have a good okay. night. Okay, teacher. Have a good, good night, too. Bye, Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night, everybody. Good night, good night everyone. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 B